What's up guys, Valence Ring here and I wanted to bring you a video all about building up your sanctuary. I get this request all the time, um, anything from new players to middle tier players to the pros, the people that have been playing for a while and they want to know what's the best setup for your resource buildings, boot camps, infirmaries, virology labs, etc. So this video is going to cover that, everything from if you are a beginner all the way through to being a pro. So let's dive right in. First thing I want to say, uh, we just finished our speaker trap event, <laughs> but the first thing I want to talk about is if you're a beginner. All right, so when you first get started, you'll notice I have all these camps, all my resources. You won't have all of these unlocked. And in the beginning, as a new player, the first thing you need to prioritize is the tutorial. So if you don't know what I mean by the tutorial, these are your main quests. And as you can see, I only have one, and that's for military. And that's because I've completed all of the main quests. The main quest in the beginning from headquarters 1 to 15 is a tutorial. It is designed to teach you what you need to do to improve and get better. And most of it is going to set you up specifically for what you need in the beginning and for a brief time going forward. So headquarters levels 1 through 15 is considered the tutorial period. That's halfway to 30. Believe me, getting from 15 to 30 is a lot longer than getting from 1 to 15. That being said, you can see I have a lot of infirmaries and a lot of boot camps and a lot of steel and a lot of gas and oh, only one virology lab. So I'm at headquarters level 31 and this would be a late game build. Once you get started and you're building up, you'll notice you're going to follow the quests. Once you've completed all the quests, and I think do believe it's stuff like you have to build four, uh, you know, lumber mills, four farms, um, and then you're going to need two or three or four steel uh, uh, steel plants and then gas fields, etc. Build those exactly as they ask you to. Level them up exactly as they ask you to. You're going to need two to four virology labs. Go ahead and do that. Build them up exactly as you want to. Once you've completed the tutorial and you've unlocked, I believe it's headquarters level 16, uh, maybe even later before you unlock all of the building spots. But once you have unlocked all of the building spots, there are exactly 35 build options for you. Now, technically, you can knock down some other buildings like your you know, vehicle depot, etc. But you're not going to want to do that. The main buildings we're talking about are the resources, your infirmaries, your boot camps, and your virology lab. As soon as you hit level 16, I do believe you have most everything unlocked, you're going to want to start building up for that middle game period. Now, the build that you're going to want for this period is going to be different than the beginning and different than the end. And that's very important to understand. You are going to have to change your sanctuary build based upon your needs at the time. Once you finish the tutorial, you might want to start switching things around and start going for some other options. So what are those options? So at what I recommend for headquarters level 16 to 20 is you're going to want to build, okay, you're going to want four boot camps and four infirmaries. You don't need any more and you don't necessarily want any less. Four boot camps and four infirmaries, that's going to hold you for quite some time. You should have four farms and four wood, at least, four lumber mill, at least. And you might even want to have six for a little while, or maybe five. So 16 to 20, you're going to want to have at least four of everything, if at all possible. And then, except for Virology Lab. Virology Lab, if you can get away with having two for a while, get away with two. Now... I know I'm not giving you exact numbers, but I will put a little bit of some recommendations down in the description below, so make sure you read that. Um, that'll give you a, maybe a clearer understanding of what I recommend. But just remember, if you are low on a resource, or if you're having trouble getting a resource, then you want more of that resource than other resources. Eventually, you're going to have problems with all of the resources. In the beginning, it's food, and then it's wood, and then it's steel, and then uh, eventually you're going to start finding that gas is a terrible resource. It's so hard to get. Until that time, you want to build what you need. 
And of course you can demolish these as you need and rebuild more. I can tell you from experience that the main quest line cannot be completed until you have eight boot camps and eight infirmaries at head or at uh, built up to level 30. Okay, so what I recommend again from 16 to 20 is four of everything at least and then one or two of whatever you, you need most or if you have extra wood and uh, you know farms and lumber mills that's okay just leave them um, and you don't necessarily want to raise them to the highest level although that is preferable so build them up and I'm just kind of showing you here I'm not gonna I unfortunately can't show you each build as it would go so that's why you're gonna have to look at the description below. At any rate, once you hit headquarters level 20, you're gonna to wanna to start changing your focus. Uh, you're gonna start needing new things like steel and gas are gonna start taking predominance. And hopefully by this time, wood isn't as big of an issue. Also between headquarters level 20 and 30, one of the first things that you're going to want to do once it's no longer needed and you finish the main quest line for it, is get rid of all of your virology labs except for one. You will always need one virology lab and this is because you need it to upgrade your research center. And of course that to upgrade your research center you can see you need the virology lab but that also will block you from increasing your headquarters level if you cannot raise your research center. So don't think you can just leave it behind. It will prevent your growth so you need one of every resource. The interesting thing about headquarters level 20 to 30, if you follow the tutorial and you follow the, you know, afterwards and you've built up exactly what you need, headquarters level 20 to 30 is going to be your playground. And what I mean by that is you are going to want to start getting rid of all your virology labs as long as they're finished in the quest line and then start building uh, hopefully up to six boot camps and infirmaries. I would start with infirmaries first, but if you're having trouble training troops, then you're going to want more boot camps first. Boot camps give you a better capacity for training troops and it also makes training troops faster. Infirmaries, of course, are very important, especially if you're in a war heavy state or if you participate in events like Wasteland War. Any event that you participate in that has a state infirmary, if those are the only events you participate in, then you are less likely to need infirmaries as much. That being said, during headquarters level 20 to 30, I do recommend you maxing out steel and gas. You should have eight steel, eight gas, and you should be running those at least steel and gas boosted, one of them, every day as much as you can. It's not going to seem that important at the time, but you are going to find that you need more and more of both of those resources. In the meantime, you should have probably still four and four of your food and your lumber mills just to maintain your growth. Now, going forward, food can be harder to get for your headquarters level, but you'll find that once you get nearer to headquarters level 30, that this isn't as big of a deal because of the other resource needs it's going to take you enough time you're going to be able to get food from layers and things like that so don't worry about that too much but 20 to 30 you want to focus on what you need do you need more gas do you need more steel those should probably be maxed food and wood you might need them less so you can get rid of one if you don't need it as much and build something else once you hit headquarters level 30 or you start approaching it you definitely want to start considering a late game build now i'm going to give you the late game build and this is eventually what you're going to shoot for and it's very close to what i have now mine is i'm not saying you should do it just like mine but this is how i have mine set up so i have one virology lab i have one farm and i have one lumber mill and that is it. There are no other farms, lumber mills, or virology labs anywhere on my base. You don't need them as much late in game. Even though they can be helpful, the reality is they don't produce enough for what your needs are going to be. Okay, some technical difficulties, but I'm back. So I had to stop the video there for a minute and rejoin. So I apologize if the flow is going to be a little bit off. At any rate, I want to dive right back into 
late game builds and this is what you're going to shoot for in the end so uh, like I was saying you do have to have to complete the main quests eight boot camps and eight infirmaries at level 30 so eventually as you probably once you hit your headquarters level 30 you're going to want to get those done now obviously you can change around after that but that being said my recommendation and this will be for late game builds once you hit headquarters level 30 this is what you're going to strive for is one farm one lumber mill one virology lab and then you're going to spread everything else out at least eight boot camps and eight infirmaries and then the rest in gas and steel now if you're super war heavy you're probably going to want 10 boot camps and probably 10 infirmaries I will say this one caveat, and um, because of the new update with the deep healing center and the additional space for infirmaries, infirmaries aren't as critical, especially earlier on, as they might be later, and even then, everybody used to say you have to have 10, but because the deep healing center basically doubles it, this means that if you had five at max level, it would be the equivalent of having 10. Now, deep healing center, it is difficult to get these nano potions and you probably don't want uh, troops going in here, so you still want a high level of infirmary. So, I would definitely work on that. So, like I said, again, to reiterate, early on, what you're going to want to do is stick to the tutorial. In the middle of the game, you know, headquarters level going up to, say, 15, uh, I mean, excuse me, uh, to 20, you're going to want to make sure you're kind of evened out. And then going from 20 to 30, you're going to focus on what you need first um, and have a few more of those. And then once you hit headquarters level 30, you're going to want to start on that late game build. And you definitely want to do at least eight boot camps and eight infirmaries so you can complete the main quest line. Once you complete the main quest line, have at it, change what you need, do what you want. Uh, but in the late game, realistically, you're only going to need one food, one wood, and one virology lab. And actually, really early on, you only need one virology lab. So if you're wondering why that is, for the record, on the virology lab outside of the research, center the only reason you only need one is because most of your anti-serum is going to come from running layers the amount that you'll get daily even if you had max virology labs isn't significant enough to warrant having them especially when your needs for gas and steel are going to supersede them let me get that gas all right guys that's everything i really hope that helped i will put a list down in the description so make sure you check that out and you'll be able to see my recommendations and of course change it to your needs um, but those will be my recommendations in the description so you can check those out and see what i think all right guys uh if you have any questions or comments or any uh alterations that you 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 think that would be better put it down in the comments section below of course please give this video a like if it helped you out subscribe to my channel if you want to see more videos like this and of course thanks as always guys mm -hmm.